Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and this is like the 15th time that I've tried to record this video because I want to articulate how I feel in a way that isn't extremely controversial or it's not misquoted or, you know, misunderstood or anything like that. Because it's kind of a difficult conversation for me to actually have. Now, I do think it's going to be controversial. I do think people are going to, you know, take it out of context and stuff like that. And it is what it is. But today's video is on why I'm not really that pressed and worried about the future of Halo. Now, as always, I would love to see some comments down below about how you feel about the future of Halo, the current condition of Halo, all that cool stuff. I read every comment and I try to answer most of them. Just be a little respectful in the comments. Also, I know 90% of you are not sub to the channel, but you watch the videos anyways. And it would greatly help me out with the algorithm and how YouTube works if you were to leave a like on the video and subscribe. With all that out of the way, let's get into the video. So I've been thinking about this topic for a long time and how I wanted to make this video and why I wanted to make this video and the right time to make the video. We just had the Xbox Game Showcase. The next big thing is the Game Awards. But in my Xbox Game Showcase video, I said, you know, don't get your hopes up high. Don't expect to see anything. And that's kind of the stance that I've taken with Halo in general right now. It feels like we've been worried or pressed about the future of Halo since Bungie left with Reach and kind of even before that I feel but with the current you know generation of Halo with Infinite and then going back through 5 and 4 even MCC we've had rough patches you know I make content on Halo because I love the franchise I actually enjoy playing the games I enjoy Infinite I enjoyed 5 for what it was and even 4 but I feel like we've gotten to a point where a lot of people especially on the internet in a fandom have started to make games their personality and these people might not even play halo anymore but they still just complain i do feel like i see that more and more and i i just feel like it's exhausting to you know kind of wake up and do that and i won't lie that's kind of how i felt about destiny for a long time like i love destiny one that time frame is like one of my favorite times ever in gaming and just really in life it, it, it brought a lot of memories i made a lot of friends but as time went on i fell like out of love with the game out of love with destiny 2 and stuff i didn't really agree with some of the choices that they were making and like i would get on you know twitter and get on youtube and be like critical of what they were doing and it got to a point where it was just like exhausting and then I finally kind of like switched it up and I stopped playing it and I stopped trying to create content around it and my quality of life skyrocketed. And I feel like that's kind of how it is with Halo. Halo is such an old franchise. There are fans, you know, 20 years ago to, you know, Halo Infinite was probably their first Halo game and they might love it. So many different iterations of what Halo is. There are people who love Halo 5. There are people who love Halo Reach. There are people who love Halo 2. There are people who love Halo CE. And trying to please all of those fans now, I feel like is just impossible. With Halo, I'm always going to be excited for whatever the next Halo game is or, you know, experience. Again, it's a franchise I love. I want I want it to be successful. I want it to be good. I want there to be hundreds of thousands of players playing it. But I've just entered a point in my life where it's like I, I can't fathom getting on the internet and getting on YouTube just to complain about a franchise, especially if I don't play it anymore, especially if it's something that I've disliked for more years than I liked at this point. But it is what it is. You do you. There will be another Halo game. There will be probably multiple Halo games. This might be a hot take, but after the restructuring and leadership stuff and blah, 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 I have a little bit more hope for Halo than I actually did before Halo Infinite. The thing with me is I'm getting old and I've learned that I need to live in the moment more than worry or contemplate or you know, be excited for something in the future that might or might not happen. And I feel like this is with a ton of games, like Elden Ring is about to have its DLC, The Final Shape came out for Destiny 2, Marathon is something that I'm excited for in the future that I hope is good. You know, the new Gears of War E-Day game and Doom and stuff, like, there are other games coming out 
probably way before the next Halo game, unless certain affinity shadow drops theirs. But I need to be excited in the moment. I need to be enjoying what I'm I'm doing at that time because it's just exhausting. It's not worth it. Now I'm sure some of you came to this video thinking like, oh, he's not worried because he's gonna there are leaks and stuff and he's the rumors and stuff, and that's really not a part of it. Even if there were no leaks, if there were no rumors, I would still be interested and willing to play whatever the next Halo game is. Halo Infinite has given me a ton of hours. I definitely got my money's worth. I do enjoy the gameplay, although I will say it's very humbling. Uh, you know, some sometimes I have good games and other times I'll hop in ranked and I am completely destroyed, so it is what it is. Those days I feel like not playing. But yeah, just thinking about how volatile the internet has become with fandom, I, I look at the Star Wars stuff and it's just insane to me. There's been so much stuff about the boys and I feel like we just live in an age now where it's you just have to be like hyper aggressive on either loving something or hating something and then these people make it a part of their person like they wake up and the first thing they do is get on twitter to fight somebody over their opinions and i just feel like we've really gone it's like caveman you know energy right there but that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you all around the ring peace